Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the sort colors problem from lead code, lead code number 75 where you are given an input array of integers where the numbers are 0, 1 or 2 they are repeated many times and your task is to sort them basically you want to place all the zeros on the left ones in the middle, twos on the right side right and you can easily do that by counting number of zeros, ones and twos but uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the Dutch national flag algorithm to solve this. So you can see on the board, on the left side, I have the code and on the right side, I have the input array. So we'll, we'll talk about the code as and when it's appropriate. So as and when it's required. So we have three pointers, L, M and R. So L and M, they are initially pointing to the first location and R is pointing to the last location so i'll explain what the role is of these three pointers in this algorithm so l the pointer l is supposed to point to a location where we can swap a zero to and r is a pointer which is pointing to a location where we can swap two to right and m is supposed to go through the array so M is going to go through the array uh, until it is, as you can see in this while conditional, M is less than or equal to R. So we're going to repeat this uh, entire code until M is less than or equal to R. So M goes through this array. So initially, as you can see, L and M, uh, they both are starting at the beginning of the array. And then M, the A of M is going to encounter so this a of m will either be a 0 a 1 or 2 right every time a of m is going to be either 0 1 or 2 and these cases they explain what we are supposed to do when we enc encounter 0 1 or 2 and i'll explain why we do those things when we encounter either 0 1 or 2 so initially you can see that uh, we hit 0 the first number is 0 so case 0 will be executed and we will just swap a of l and a of m so basically we are just swapping the same number so it will remain as is but at the same time what we are doing is we are moving l and m so l will move to this location and m will move to this location and we will essentially repeat the same thing and uh, after the swap the number stays there and, but the pointers increase the pointers go forward so l and m they start pointing here let me erase that all right so we have our l and m pointing to this locations now essentially what this has uh, done is that l is now pointing to a location where a zero can be brought into right and l will always be pointing to a location of this uh, this sort where a zero can be brought into and m on the other, other hand is going to go through the array and encounter different numbers and we will act based on what m is pointing to so when uh, and now here m m is pointing at one and at that case what we're supposed to do is we're just supposed to increment the m because m is the middle section and as long as we find ones there we are okay right so m will now move to the next point next element and we see that it's one again and in the switch case we see when one is encountered we just move the middle pointer and m will now move again so m will go to now two now m is pointing to two so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to move the two to its correct uh, location that is on the right hand side and we know uh, and where to put that to that location is pointed by r so we will have to move this to to r so if you look at this case what we do is we swap a of m and a of r so in this case a of m and a of r are same so after swapping the numbers are going to remain the same and you can see that we only decrement r we do not increment m in this case rightfully so because if we increment the m then this 2 will remain here and that will be a wrong answer 
right? So, and also this one more thing why we don't increment is initially this two could have been, this could have been a zero, okay? In which case, this array would have looked something like this, or let me erase it and just update the same thing. So, let's say that instead of two, there was a zero here initially, right? And then what we would have done, and when M was pointing here, we would have swapped A of M and A of R, and then R minus minus. But if we had done M plus plus here, if we had done M plus plus here, then this zero would have been here, and then we would have got two here. Two would have been at its correct location, but this zero would have skipped as we incremented M to this location as we would have incremented m to this location so that's why we don't do m plus plus here we do not do that we only do that uh, in the case zero let me go back to the previous sheet so there was a two here and two here all right so when we encounter two we swapped a of m and a of r based on the case two but after the swap the numbers remain the same but and but we decremented r so then r will now point to this location right but we kept m as is so m is still pointing to two and then the loop goes on and a of m is still 2 because we did not increment m and for 2 what we do we swap a of m and a of r and now r is pointing to 0 so these two numbers will get swapped let me do that so after the swap this will be 2 and this will be 0 and because it was a swap for case 2 we, we do not increment m we only decrement r so after the swap r is going to point to this location and uh, again once again we will go through the cases now m is pointing to 0 and in this case uh, case 0 will be executed and we know that l was waiting here at this position uh, to receive a 0 Right, because when we want to swap a zero back to you know its left section where do we swap it to the location is pointed by l so then in this case this zero is going to get swapped with this one because you see swap a of l and a of m so this zero is going to get swapped to this position let me do that and after that we do l plus plus and m plus plus let me do the swap okay so we have swapped the two numbers a of l and a of m so we got one here and the zero which was here is placed here and after that we do l plus plus and m plus plus why do we do l plus plus because we want l to point to a location where we can get the next zero in right we don't want l to if we keep l here then the next zero will be swapped here and you know this zero will go to that other location which we don't want so let's increment l and m l will point to this one and m is going to point to this so now you see m and r both are pointing to zero <coughs> and the loop will still work because we have this m less than or equal to r is and it's basically for this condition only where m and r they both are pointing to uh, zero Okay, so in this case, what will happen is uh, the case zero will get executed again. We will swap a of l and a of m because we have encountered zero. We have to swap it to the l pointer or to the location pointed by l. So this zero will be moved to this location. So let me let me erase it. 
So zero comes here and then one is swapped, right? And after that, uh, we will increment L. L will, will now point to this location. And we will also increment M as you see L plus plus and M plus plus. So then M will go to this one and then the loop will exit out because M is no longer less than or equal to R. So yeah, th this is the basic logic that uh, is behind the national flag algorithm when we do uh, sorting for zeros, ones and twos. I hope you understood why the cases are like this, where we like where in the case of two we only do r minus minus, but not m plus plus, and in case of zero we do l plus plus, m plus plus, and for case one we do only m plus plus. Essentially, what we're doing here is we're doing a three-way partition, and the l pointer is pointing to a location where we are going to swap in z uh, zero and counted by m location to swap 0 to and r is basically pointing to location to swap and encounter 2 to or a misplaced 2 to its uh, correct location and then m is just running through the array right uh, m points to the middle section or the section which includes only ones so I hope you like the video.